his team were ringside. They're all there. Ben Davidson, Lee Wiley, all watching you. What did you make of that? Oh, that's their problem. I, I don't know. I don't think there's nothing to see here. You got Ben Davidson back. You know, it's just a little bit hard stuff, hard fun. You know, play, entertain, defend the people. It's the most, it's what it is about. This is not really about like to see if somebody skills, right? <laughs> at, what, at what point during fight week then do you really start to get serious and switch into, into fight mode? I don't know, it depends. Sometimes I wake up in the morning on the fight day and then I start to fear that fight week mode. Um, you know, like maybe la even last week there was a day that I, I feel it a little bit, I felt it. Then it goes away after, so it's not something that you command. It's just uh, automatic in your body, you know. Yeah, it's just automatic in your body. Are you still sparring this week? No, no, no. Sparring finish. How many no, sparring no. finish? Uh, last Friday. How many sparring partners did you have for this camp? Uh, at first, it was three of them, and then uh, one of my sparring was in the training camp. So uh, Guido, he had to go fight. So I remained with two sparring partners. Orthodox fighters. Uh, what kind of sparring partners did you have? Did you feel comfortable with the with the with the with the, the pace, the, the the change of opponents? It's not comfortable when you get five rounds and then. So, <clears throat> Anthony Joshua fight media workout review. Um, he did exactly what he did when he fought out of Wiley. He really didn't come in to show off what he can do. He is promoting the next, you know, shuffle of children or kids, you know, and showing them, you know, letting the kids get in there and do the thing. You know what I mean? And I, I think that's pretty good. I think it, it takes the attention off him a bit and shows you the story of that could be the potential future of, of future stars in the UK showcased in the ring. You know, I like that. that that's a, you know, that that's a good omen. Um, <clears throat> so we really didn't see uh, nothing at all uh, that shows you anything. He showed it, you know, he looks like he's in shape, like he's always pretty much in shape. You know, he's a gym rat. I think Joshua is just a guy, if he didn't, if he didn't box, he would still be, he'd still be working out. You know what I mean? You know, he may be a little heavier, but no, he'll still be working out. Um, uh, I think that, uh, AJ likes that whole spiel too just to build intrigue, you know. Um, now, as of Francis Ngannou, Francis Ngannou looked very aggressive, okay. And I looked at, um, it's it's crazy. Like, I'm looking here, well, you know, let's, yeah, let's see. Um, where was I at? Let's check out. Francis is, uh, okay. Let's see. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so when Barbara switched to Turbo Attack, <sighs> okay. And Francis is big, bro. And he's a different build too, Nick. You know, Josh got a big neck too, but this guy's like a like they're they're two big dudes. Um nice one too. 
that are respectful to each other. It doesn't have to be. You know, Francis, I'm saying he has a, he has a, you know, that, that snap and that right. He pulls it back. You know. <clears throat> nice combinations. You know, I was really impressed with Francis when he started really putting combinations to Tyson Fury. You know what I mean? To close the show, to show that, hey, you know, I'm more than be I'm, I'm more than the average bear, right? Um, I like that left uppercut. He goes to the body. You know, and I think that's going to help him a lot in AJ, especially if he can't pin AJ down and AJ, and then, and then, you know, coming right back and getting out of position. He needs to take it to AJ, you know. <clears throat> I'm proud of Francis, though, man. Like, you, you look at where he's been, what he went through, you know, what he was able to do. He done what Conor McGregor they thought were going to do. You know what I mean? To Floyd. And Floyd, understand, Floyd was what? 40 years old at that time? Come on, bro. 40, 41. Collected customer earlier on in the week. We did some social media stuff with him. Tried to get him to play a game on the phone. And all that. He was like, I'm not playing no game. He's a man. He's a man. He's not He's not a boy. That left uppercut, right uppercut. Ooh, right to the body, left to the body. And he's going to the by spot, spot. I like that, bro. You know what I mean? And you can tell it's a body assault that he's bringing. He's bringing a body assault, bro. And he's pop, 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 pop. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's this is gonna be a good fight, man. Cause this, I'm very impressed with Francis, bro. I mean, to be fair, Francis won this. Media workout simply because, you know, the new setup and the new um, uh, decision of Joshua to bring the kids in there. You know, it's nothing to really look at. You know, um, I uh, I like the combinations and, and he, that's classic Mike Tyson. OK, he's getting all that from Mike. OK, and then this is this is one thing I'm interested in seeing. Anthony Joshua never met Mike Tyson. Right. <clears throat> So, since I think they're going to meet, especially whatever happens, they're going to meet. Joshua's going to meet Mike Tyson. You know, you know, Joshua looked up to Mike, you know, he's an OG. So, you know, we see Mike Tyson. He met the other quote unquote baddest man on the planet, uh, Deontay Wilder. So that was a historic day. And I think, you know, this week is going to be a historic week. So we're going to crud a lot of Francis are going to Anthony Joshua stuff into the mix. Um, you guys tell me what you think about this uh, media workout between the two. Anthony Joshua and Francis Ungono, of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace!